You are now listening to Wild Talk. Wild Talk is the podcast that discusses the LA Wildcats of the XFL and all Los Angeles sports. Produced by Alex Cauldron. With your hosts, Chris Rico and Gabriel Montoya. You are now engaged in Wild Talk. Boys, get talking. And we are back. Oh, it's Wild Talk. I don't know what to say today. I don't know how to. St- I don't never know how to start these. Hi, well, welcome. It's Wild Talk. Welcome to Wild Talk. You're listening. Welcome to, Alex, to Wild Talk. Rico and Gabe. You're uh-huh. here with uh, your hosts, Chris Rico and uh, Gabe. Yep. Montoya. Yes, sir. Live from Manhattan Beach, California. Yeah. If you want to hit us up on social media, you could do that. The home of real gangsters. Yep. At Wild Talk underscore LA. That's right. At Wild Talk underscore LA. Oh, shit. I'm about LA to go, stands for Los Angeles. I'm about to go live. I'm about to go live. I'm about to go live on, uh, on, our, on our page. Yerp. What, yes, sir. What about, yep, yep, uh, yep, yep, yep. What about um, if they want to listen to our past shows because they, they're like, oh, my gosh, this is the best show ever. Uh, they can find us on Apple Podcasts. That's right. Probably where they're listening this, to this one. Yeah. Or uh, <laughs> Spotify. <laughs> Spotify. I, I think we're on a couple other ones. Let me double, let me double check to see which uh which. You double check. I don't even know what we're on. I don't know either. They just said talk. <laughs> you know, just like hey, show up. Can you show up and talk? Oh, mm. next week, Delmi's joining us, right? Yeah. So yeah. next week we're gonna do a MLS season preview. Ooh, MLS. MLS. He's really excited. That's Major League Soccer for people that don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Major League <laughs> Soccer. So oh yeah, you can also find us on Castbox. Ooh. Castbox? Castbox. Castbox. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. 3% of our listeners are use Castbox. Nice. Wow, Man, that's a lot. And it's like, <laughs> no all idea. like what one? <laughs> yeah. This part of our show is brought to you by Castbox. <laughs> Don't let them cast in your box. <laughs> oh like, wow. Damn. <laughs> wow. You do Ooh. it for yourself. That's a lot, bro. Castbox. <laughs> Lock the Castbox. That's probably what they said in that in that song. Shady, Lock the cast like box. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Lost the cast box. Lost the cast box. <laughs> Don't eat the like it. it. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Lost, Lost the, the cast, cast box. box. Lost the cast box. Um, so yeah, what are we gonna talk about today? The fucking Titans. Oh man, we get to play you guys, the Ravens versus Yo, the Titans. Yo, it is lit. It's gonna like be it. that's when gonna you, be a Smash Mouth game, dude. To uh, my to my um, brother in laws, because when you're right, you're right. How was uh, how was <laughs> your guys' weekend or, or week? My weekend was dope. I actually had Alex and I had a whole weekend together. Together, yeah. Why don't I it. ever get invited to stuff like this? I don't. You have you have you're you moving to like, a house. Yeah, yeah. you have a house Good and you're buying out. expensive cars. <laughs> my bad. You're, you're about to get a second <laughs> Audi, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it's never come out of my voice. You know what? <laughs> Those words have never come out of my voice. You have to give to get. I, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna be giving up the Audi to, to get g- another Audi. Maybe, but I've never said that in my life. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> I don't th- <laughs> I'll say it for you. <laughs> I was literally I looking you. at like Rav Fours. <laughs> That's good. That's a good car yeah. too. Well, yeah. Well, I, it used to be like people would get the Beamers and the Mercedes and the and the Audis because, well, they're German, but they were so nice from the inside and some of the other marks and makes were like horrible on the yeah. inside, like so basic. But now, like everybody makes their stuff dope on the inside. Yeah, hell yeah. So the only thing you're really buying now is the name or, if, you know, the name basically. And and some of their design, like some Mercedes are really like sick. Dude, it's funny because the new RAV4s look dope. You just got to get over it being a RAV4. Yeah. Yeah. The, <laughs> the old, the old, uh, what's that called? Uh, Cause it used to be chick cars back in the day when we were younger. <laughs> when we were young. Huh. Now we're old. Yeah. You just need to get. Uh, dude, literally old, I was in uh, bed both Friday and Saturday night at 1030. Friday and Saturday. Yeah. Wow. 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 Oh, wow. I actually had a beer yesterday. I had a beer with Alex. The Stone uh Stone Cold beer. The the one at uh the Skull Crusher. IPA. Skull, yeah. Stone Brewing from Stone Brewing. No, it's from at, uh, uh no El Segundo. El Segundo Brewery. Shout out to them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where was that? Oh well I know you guys have my number. <laughs> <clears throat> I went out last night too. See, well, I could have gone. My homie came over. We ate pizza, played FIFA, and then Oh we, man, I like FIFA and, and we pizza. Went, oh, we went to a bar. We went to go watch the Titan game. 
Yeah, I, this was late though. We went. Late. Uh, I didn't know if you wanted to do that because I know you wanted to see. The, I watched uh, it anyways. Well, because I was. I don't want you to see what we're gonna do next week to you guys. So, <laughs> hey, low key, low key. How nervous are you? On a scale of one to ten. Yeah. One. Ten. And zero. Ten. No, seriously. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not worried about the Titans. Not. I don't mean like. I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. Like, oh, they hey, can't come King in. King Henry, do you, can you hear this? Derrick Henry, we're gonna send this to you. Huh. So you. Can, Play His name is home. Gabriel Montoya at Sports yeah. Vigilante. If you <laughs> if he drives a fucking Highlander <laughs> and an Audi, <laughs> and an Audi, if and he lives in Long Beach. <laughs> if, if if you come in as the team that has the best record in the NFL, yep. you have the best quarterback you've ever had in your franchise history. You're like you're dominating on both sides of the ball. Oh, you're playing against oh my the lowest God. seed. Best. You're playing against the lowest seed in better the than, AFC. Better than Dilfer? Bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you, but I'm saying you're playing against the low, If you don't have compl- – if you feel scared of who you're playing, like, you're never going to feel okay. Like, ever. I'm not I don't, I'm not fearful of them. I respect their game. You know, you're over mansplaining this. We get it. You're nervous. I'm, I'm not nervous <laughs> at all. I'm not nervous at all. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> my keys are rattling. <laughs> game is Yo, ready. Derrick Henry might be MVP. Yeah, Gabe is, out there. Oh my god. Gabe he is, might, uh, he might, no, bro. Like Gabe is really man spreading right now. He's just letting his nuts uh, hang. I right really now, think bro. since the Titans beat the Patriots, Derrick Henry has a one up on the MVP vote. No, it doesn't matter. The, Literally everybody's back at home like, oh matter. shit, I gotta change my vote. The postseason doesn't matter. <laughs> they doesn't go into the voting. <laughs> they already voted. <laughs> no, no, but it, the, it's gonna be a good game though. Where are we gonna watch it at though? Who was that player who got hurt for the Titans? The defender. Oh. Jay Young, Jay, Jay Young, Brown. Jay Brown, Brown, yeah. How? What is he? Linebacker? He's, yeah, he's actually. He'll be fine. He's gonna come back. <clears throat> he is. Yeah. It looked like he broke his collarbone or something. No, it was it was the elbow. He, it was dude, he just got a boo boo. No, no, it. no. He went back <laughs> in, and then he got nailed, and he was like writhing in pain on the ground, grabbing his shoulder after that. Yeah. Oh, crying. but I mean, that's just natural. <clears throat> yeah. It's just, <laughs> that's how he says hello. <laughs> yeah. That, that's just that's just yeah. That's just him, dude. That's Jay on. You know what I mean? Like he'll be fine. For, he'll be fine. Jay on. That's on what TV. he does, bro. He just he just likes yeah. to cry on TV. So you have com- mm-hmm. complete confidence in Ryan Tannehill coming in, dude. Oh yeah. Tannehill's I, a goal, I actually bro. think the Super Bowl He's is gonna goal. be Ryan Tannehill and Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> <laughs> That's what. Out of all the great quarterbacks we have in this, nah, in Kirk this Cousins, postseason, Kirk Cousins and that Ryan was Tannehill. Stupid man. <clears throat> That's crazy, dude. We literally have like. What's it called Kirk Cousins, Jimmy Garoppolo, in the fucking still in the postseason. I know, I know. Yo, NFC's just trash. It literally is. The Niners lose. Yeah, they own it. Yeah, they could fuck it up. That's I all. don't know how Green Bay has the second. Oh, uh, they're trash. <laughs> <laughs> like they're not even that good. Green Bay's trash, dude. <laughs> they're not even. It's just Aaron Rodgers, but even him, he's not having like a spectacular no, season not by at all. any means. They were falling apart at the beginning of the year. I just think they have lucky breaks, and that's about <clears> it. <throat> they're like great at lucky breaks, and that's all well, this year. Yeah. Yeah, they, uh, but literally after the Niners, it's just a drop off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Even the Seahawks today, they barely yep. beat the Eagles. The Eagles they, without Carson Wentz. Yeah, without anybody. They're any of their top receivers. Yeah. They're all hurt. And then without Carson Wentz going down in the first quarter, like. And the AFC is still stacked. Yeah, <laughs> you can pick any of those two teams. Yeah. Okay, four so, teams. Sorry. So, uh, Teron Davenport from uh, NFL, uh, the NFL Network said, Jayon Brown walked out of the locker room without a brace or anything on his shoulder. He says he's good. And he said, fuck you, Gabe. <laughs> you know what? I don't know what to oh, say. We, we have somebody on Instagram Live that just said, uh, uh, fuck Gabe and his Ravens. <laughs> <laughs> Bring say, it, bro. Say, say hi to Bring Daisy, it. Gabe. Bring say hi it. to Daisy, Gabe. Bring it. Say hi to who? Daisy. Hi, Daisy. How are you? <laughs> Yo, what are we going to watch the game at? What are we going to watch game? Next week? Yeah. I'll be in uh, Catalina. Oh, that's right. Oh, Damn, we're gonna have to drive to Catalina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> good luck. <laughs> what time is the uh, game? It's on Saturday. It's the early game. Yeah, I'm not gonna be here. Damn, I'll Are be in Catalina. Watch it? Hell yeah, I'm gonna watch. They get TV in Catalina. I mean, do they? <laughs> they the right, they the right what TV? language do they speak in Catalina? <laughs> they speak Catalonian. <laughs> is <laughs> they is... speak English but with a lisp, like everybody in Catalonia? They say, Hello, Gabe. How are you doing today at the beach? How are you doing at the Gabe? beach? Uh-huh. At the beats. <laughs> At the beats. <laughs> you want any beers? It's it's so funny today. It's so funny. I know. <laughs> <laughs> They're Catalonian. They speak that. But yeah. it is a nice. Hopefully, we luck out on the weather. We we usually luck out on the I weather. I think it is because tonight was today was beautiful. It was yeah. beautiful. It was gorgeous. Hi Daisy. Yo, but any anyway, but Alex and I we went to the to the gym twice. We went. <laughs> Yesterday and today, and his fucking bro. You guys lit. have my number. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> actually, it was, it was kind of by accident that we actually hung out this weekend. Sure. No, it was. Because I happened to be in the area. Like, uh-huh. And then I was like, yo, what are you watching the game, so you messaged him, even and, though we're all on the same group chat. Yo, oh, you're right about that. Damn, I gotta start Damn. messaging Gabe. I thought we were uh, on TBK. You're, I thought we were, if we're in the same group chat. Where, where's ours at? Where's our, Hey, where are you guys watching the game? I thought we were TBKs. Did you? Paul Brown did, King. Did you message us? Did you message us? This is ridiculous. <laughs> did you, I didn't? I didn't get a text saying Ravens hey, are gonna roll just because of that. No, oh my god! There was no text saying, "Hey guys, where are you watching the Titans beat the Patriots?" Well, <laughs> I wouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh. 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 JaVale McGee just got knocked in the head by Andre Drummond on purpose. It looked like an elbow straight up to his face because he was frustrated. Hey, all right, so let's get into the playoffs. Let's talk about the, uh, Wait, first, the first game. This, okay, but first, L.A. News, though. Why haven't they, the Lakers fired the barber for the, like, the team? Because <laughs> <laughs> all those guys have fucked up haircuts. All right. <laughs> so for the main squad, you're right. But for the other squad, the, the South Bay Lakers, apparently they look pretty fresh because my boy cuts them up. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, shout out to him. Manny Le Barbe, who's in Long Beach. He's also Man. the official barber for the Galaxy. Shout out to Manny. He's also the official barber, or he's the barber for Mexico when they come here. He's the barber like the for Argentina. Um, yeah, he cuts up Messi and all those fools, and Aguero and Di Maria. And Does all. he cut your hair? Yeah, because my hair too. What? Yep. And I need to go to him. I actually should set an appointment during the show. Damn. I know. I know. He's big time. Is we he in Long Beach or what? Yeah, in Long Beach. In uh, LBC. In the hood. His, his shop's like in the hood too. Are like you hood? Are you hood? No, no, no. I just no. I just, we went to Milliken, so I you're obviously not stuff. hood. <laughs> right? No, I'm not hood at all. <laughs> <laughs> and you should go to Alex's gym because that shit is nice. I'm gonna go back to my fucking ghetto ass YMCA tomorrow and cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, what gym do you go to? I go to the Bay Club right here. In oh, I, excuse me. Talk it's, about it says that's a good one, but it's technically Manhattan Beach. El please, Bay please, Club. please, please, nice. It's, El Bay Club. It's super pretty, pretty nice. Please, please, nice. Yo, it's really it's fucking nice, dude. Hey, dude, dude. <laughs> I, I, I you came so, to, like you came to a realization. You're like, nah, honestly, guys, it's um. No, because I felt it, like I really when cried. I was there, I couldn't even take advantage of like the full gear they have because I'm so ghetto, <laughs> I'm so, oh, so used to my bummer. cookies. You're like, what's that? They're like, uh, uh, sir, that's a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pouring water from the bidet into my cup. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it makes the same noise. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe it's not a bigger blowout, though, for real. Avery Badley just got hurt really seriously. What did he hurt? His dick. Come on, man. It's a family show. Hey, I would say there's, there's a lot of testicles at the Bay Club just hanging. He had, like, low a broken balls. leg earlier this season. There's low balls at the Bay Club. He can't club. even put pressure on his leg. Look at that. Man, um, he's had, like, the worst luck with injuries, dude. Oh, Alex, I was going to tell you, too. The, that guy that we thought uh, oh, straight out of prison. Yeah. As I was changing, I looked over and he's staring straight at me as he's getting dressed. And I was like, "Look at this!" Try to avoid contact. <laughs> oh, he rolled his ankle really oh, bad. Did done. you see he's it? He's done. He's done. His right ankle. That's the last thing they need right now, too. Um, or 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 not, because we do need an opening for Derek Collison. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. We we need a guard. We need to cut a guard. Yo, was oh, that how Jay on Brown was crying yesterday yep. to you? No, nah, he was actually like kicking the ground. Oh, like if you see the the things, he's like lying on the ground, mm. kicking it. But shout out to whoever gave us the heads up that he's okay. Oh, the guy from NFL Network. Look at his right ankle right here. One, right here. Look at it. Bam. Ah, damn. Oh, and outside oh. of his legs oh. went like that too. Oh. Ouch. I think Avery Bradley might have just snapped Yo, something. for you to feel it at that moment with that like. Yeah, usually it takes a couple of yeah. seconds. All right, guys, let's get into these playoffs. All right, let's get playoffs. So, let's start with the first JaVale game. JaVale McGee just got hurt. Playoffs. He just stepped in. Uh, KCP's already hurt. <laughs> Dude, what the heck is going on? Anyways, let's talk about Dude, the Derek Rose is on the court. His, his juju is just going everywhere. He's, he's like, coach, don't put me in. Seriously, Caruso, <laughs> take off that fucking headband, dude. You look stupid. I like it. White, white guys uh, with headbands. Yeah, I like it, too. Anyways, what about the playoffs? Playoffs. It makes him look like Jason Williams. Playoffs? No, and then he's We're wearing talking the, about playoffs? And then he's wearing the tights, too. Come on, man. Oh, no, man. So, the Bills and the Texans. What did you guys think of that game? Bills threw that, that away. Because <laughs> when you're right, you're right. You know what I mean? Bills <laughs> were in complete control of that game. And they started playing stupid and conservative and... They just weren't taking. They weren't. They didn't put. They didn't put their their foot on the throat, and they let the Texans back in it with some bad play calling. And in the second half, it was like, it was like whoever wanted to win the game was going to win the game. Like both teams didn't even really want it once it became a tie. 
Dude, what's up with him? Uh, what's up with Josh Allen and his, his whack ass lateral? Yo, what's up with Josh Allen, that whack ass beard? He needs to. Yeah. Yeah. He needs to whack it. Yeah, exactly. Damn, you guys care a lot about people's hair, bro. 2020, man. Aesthetics. It's 2020. The, you, We're not about results. There's We're less about important aesthetics. things to care about. <laughs> so uh, a couple takeaways from the game. What do you get? What you guys get out of it? What do you guys? You think? have to make sure Watson is on the ground. Like you need to make sure when you tackle him, he's on the ground. Because otherwise, he's gonna fucking do what he does. Yeah, right? I was I was underwhelmed with Hopkins. Uh, I thought Hopkins could have done. <laughs> he more. hasn't done shit the all under? year. I had him yeah. on my fantasy. He he done. He I, done I think much. I was very underwhelmed with him, considering well, like that should be a game that that they throw to him a lot, and he, that he, he needs Will him. Fuller. Without yeah. Will Fuller, he's he's double teamed. And then, um, oh, oh damn, bro! He's Caruso sloppy just today, got, man. Got packed. That's a travel. Caruso got packed. Um, Do people still use that word? I don't know. Yeah, I use it. I use it. I'm like, oh, he got yeah, packed. We're from the 90s, though, man. We got packed. <laughs> hey, we're bringing it back, bro. Yeah, we played basketball in the 90s. <laughs> we're bringing it back. Um, but, uh, I, yeah, I wasn't impressed with Hopkins. And then, honestly, like, the, what I saw from Seattle and what I saw from Houston today is they're not that good. I don't think they're good enough to make it to the Super Bowl, both no. teams. But, but the, the good part for... Uh, Houston is they're playing the Chiefs, and I think out of the four AFC teams, the Chiefs are the most sus. I don't know. Man. Chiefs are gonna beat that ass, bro. Chiefs are gonna. No, win. they're not gonna beat no. Bro, ass. give Pat Mahomes. The only reason they can is because you, you they're, just, you they're just great hate, off the bye. No, you hate the Chiefs. They haven't been doing that well these last few weeks. Yeah, they have. No, they haven't. They've been playing well. Their defense has. Their defense has been playing a lot yeah, better than last year. We're not going through that. <laughs> The Chiefs lo- lo- like are, are flying so far. You under really the radar, think the scary. Chiefs over the Texans like straight up? Yeah, like by by twenty. Dude, the last team to the last team to give the, the, the Chiefs a thumping was the Titans. Yeah, yeah. Like well, five weeks. Well, the Titans are taking it. I mean, I just don't see anybody stopping them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Here stop we go. <laughs> All right, any, any more takeaways from the Bills game? Um, do you guys think the Bills? Oh, uh, Bills are g- going to be around for a while. Do you guys Bills think Mafia. they're back? They're going to. I think uh, the coach, what's his name? Uh, damn, I forgot the name of the coach. It just went, flipped my mind. Uh, Mark Levy. No. <laughs> I think the Bills are going to be around. They're a good team. They're they're young. They haven't won a super. They haven't won a playoff game since '95. Sean McDermott. Sean McDermott. Yeah, there you go. But no, I think they'll still be around. They they're not going anywhere. They'll they'll be around. Now yep. with the uh, Patriots regime finally over. It's just so weird because it, like you think th- like football is one of the only sports where you can't do that, right? Like you can't predict what team's going to be on top for a while. Mm-hmm. Um cuz everything comes down to one key injury. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Singletary and 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 um uh, Frank Gore or not Frank, yeah, Frank Gore in the backfield for them, but if Singletary goes down like that's who you're That's it. <laughs> right? Like That's it. Yep. What? Or or someone key on the defense. Or well, Derrick Henry. Yeah, Derrick Henry goes up. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> we got a homie from the Patriots. That used to be a Patriot. Deion Lewis. Deion no, Lewis. we're not. No, come on, man. Derrick Henry is right now the front runner for MVP. Oh right, my Gabe? god! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> did, did you guys? Uh, <laughs> stupid. Uh, Rico does not lie. Um, did yeah. you guys see? Uh, man, don't cheat. Rico don't lie. <laughs> 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 Did you guys see uh, OJ's message on uh, Twitter for the Bills? No. <laughs> OJ is giving a shout out to his uh, former team. OJ Simpson? Yeah. yeah. OJ Simpson. Oh, There's nice. only one OJ, baby. The juice. <laughs> the juice. Have you have you seen any of OJ's Twitter videos? No. I fucking love them. Dude, OJ sounds like Cleo McDowell from Coming to America now. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, like he's like that because he got that old. And the way he talks, he sounds like Cleo McDowell trying Cleo to convince McDowell. King Jockey. <laughs> He sounds like Cleo McDowell trying to convince Joffy Joffrey to a, a McDowell's let his yeah let, let, let his uh, let his daughter marry. Yo, his sit down. He's a prince. <laughs> My daughter's gonna marry a prince. <laughs> yo, 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 King. These are some pigs in the blanket here. They're the frozen kind, but you would never know. Nah, but like, listen to him. He sounds just like John Amos. Like I'm dying. That's funny. shout out to John Amos. Shout out to Juice. <laughs> He's a uh, oh, so John Amos is in the is in the Uncut Gems. His little, little cameo is hilarious. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, n- nothing else to take from that team, from that game. I guess we'll move on to the Titans against the Patriots, the big uh, the big game everybody's talking about this weekend. It was the big game from this weekend because the, the two NFC games just 
snooze fest. I thought. Oh, the Vikings. The Saints Vikings pretty, is great. Yeah, it's pretty good. I man. thought. Yeah, I was gonna say that, but I thought the, um, like that's as far as the Patriots could go. And Can I thought, we finally acknowledge that the regime is finally over. Well, I mean, next it's year. It. No. Ne- <clears throat> you think so? I don't know. We'll see because. No, what were we gonna say? Go ahead. Bill, Bill Belichick. I, I don't know. I have. I don't have any faith in him not putting together a good team. I just think they need to make some key signings. Like, bro, if Antonio Brown would have worked out for them. Oh yeah, it would have been different. It that would have been the same thing with the Raiders. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, exactly. But I'm like they they were almost like one or one player away from like being legit. Like they made it all the way to the playoffs without that the whole season. So this is my takeaway. This is my hot take. There's no Belichick system. Josh McDaniels isn't that great as an OC, and it's basically just Tom Brady. Yeah. Okay. Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time. He is, the and goal. we will probably never see anybody at that level. Besides baby Baker Mayfield. <laughs> but other than that, I think that's it. The, regi- the regime is over. I, I, I don't think Bill Baker Belichick can do it without Tom I will Brady. call it. Baker will never make the playoffs in his career, and wow. he'll be done in three, two years. He'll be out of the league in two years. You think so? Yes. He'll be in the XFL. He's not good. Do you actually think Will Greer is going to be in the XFL? You know who that is? Will he was, Greer? He was a, yeah, he's a rookie for <clears> Carolina. <throat> He played six drives and then they just took his ass out because he sucks so bad. The worst rookie to ever start. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I just know in that Patriots game, it, it's not Tom Brady. Tom Brady is good. Like that game, he looked good. Yeah, he's he, all right. He had zip on his passes. Yeah, he he was moving out through the pocket. A little bit inaccurate, but. Yeah, but he was still zipping it. You know, like I, that one, he had a zip to Edelman in between two defenders and everything, but they yeah. just have nobody. They just have nobody who can help them on offense. Their defense is good. They just, but on, but on they, offense. They kind of got out coached. If you, you know. So know. if you go with the coaching battle, I really think, uh, what's, the, what's your coach's uh, name? You know, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, I don't even know. His Rabel? Name. Mike Vrabel. I'm yeah. going to go out and say this, that I don't think they got a coach. I just think the defense got outmatched. I mean, Henry the, in the, in the O oh, line dominated the D line. He did. In the linebacker. MVP. Yeah. MVP. He's a big boy. I think uh, Skip Bayless said he's. A, I think Skip Bayless said he's a he's a moose that runs like a deer. <laughs> like he's a big boy. He's big. He's for the people for everybody who I mean he ran like this way in Alabama, right? Yeah. For the people who said that he wasn't a good pickup when we did get him, you can see why he is. I mean, but to their defense, at first he wasn't killing it. Well, they talked a lot of shit. We, we said I mean, because you're a second, twenty second pick overall, right? I would rather a, a dude be a slow starter and be a, a good professional for years and oh, have yeah. a good rookie year, and then that's it. Of course, of course. So and um, it, and he's gonna be a free agent, right? It, like his his no, career is kind yeah. of like his style, right? Like he's not gonna bru- he's not like ex- like explosive right out of the gate in the game. Yeah, he will get three four yards yeah. in the first half that turns into ten and fifteen yards in the second half after they beat you up in the cold. Yeah. He's definitely like a late season guy because every it always seems like after week ten is when he comes along. He looks so fresh in that Patriots game yeah. that he was just like yeah. pounding, yep. pounding, oh, pounding. Oh man, and he was picking yards after yards yeah. after yards. They asked the they, they asked the Bill Belichick. Uh, one of the reporters asked him, "What are your thoughts on Derrick Henry's performance? What made him a touch matchup t- a tough matchup to go against?" And Belichick said, "He ran hard. <laughs> <laughs> he ran hard." That's a Belichick quote. He ran hard. So, do you guys think Brady's coming back to the Patriots? No. Ooh, hot take by Alex. It doesn't seem that way. It just seems nah, like something so. there is broken, and they don't want to say it. I don't think he wants to leave, though. I think he would just. I don't think he wants to, I don't think he wants to leave either. But I think that he 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 sees the AFC what it's turning into, bro. It's turning into Lamar Jackson and Pat Mahomes show. Mm. And the Titans are if, like if the Titans get a legit quarterback this year. I mean, Tannehill might be it, but he's Tannehill's you know, a nice guy. He's nice. But I mean, if they've got lucky. Like the like the Ravens did, where they, there's a good quarterback who falls late in the first yeah. round, and they are able to pick him up. Like Titans are going to be good for a little bit too. Oh, I can see that happening. I think well, Titans have been good for a while. So, they just kind of had so Mariota. Guys, so they had Mariota itis. <laughs> so do, do you guys think that the like the 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 NFL is turning back into a running back league? Because I mean, look look mm-hmm. at today. Uh, moving on to the Minnesota game. Look at today, in Minnesota. How Dalvin, Dalvin Cook, Cook like dominated the the. First half. He's been doing that and all I season. And I think though, I right? saw a, uh, a, a stat today that Christian McCaffrey had more receptions than, was it the entire NFL? 
combined or something like that. Christian, I, I, well, let's be honest, Christian McCaffrey. Even though the, even though he he catches a lot of screens, I mean, those are like really short screens. Those, he's basically running. It's still, it's still a catch, but and Lamar ja- Jamar Jackson. Look at how much he's doing running. No, I agree. And then Josh Jacobs could be the ro- offensive rookie of the year. Yeah. Yeah, that, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's turning into a running back league. But John the, Moran. Again, but, again, I guess what I would say. Because remember for like. Yeah. Like, but there are definitely uh, a good batch of running backs right now. If you take into like mm-hmm. Saquon, Zeke. Um, and even the older guys like well, Kamara is not old, but he's a veteran already. Kamara, Ingram. You look at those guys. and, and Yeah, Ingram had like a second, second career now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, not so. that it was really dying out, dude. I would Saints, say, well, and yet Green Bay still can't get a running back. <laughs> <laughs> I like Mark Ingram, and uh, I never thought he did what he like lived up to his potential. Yeah, and dude, now John, stop breaking ankles, John. But now he's had a resurgence. Mm-hmm. Dude, John Moran is just breaking ankles everywhere. Point God. So, anyways, that so, that Patriots game. Um, I, I just know it wasn't Brady, and and uh, kudos for how the Titans played, man. That's how they've been playing all year. They didn't do anything different. They didn't. They weren't, you know, Vrabel's a, a Patriot, so a former Patriot. So he knew what it was going to take to go in there and win. Yeah. And so I, I'm sure he had his team fully expecting what was going to go on, and he coached a really good game. He kept the game plan simple, didn't try anything fancy, didn't panic, no trick plays on, on special teams. Just, hey, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go in there, and we're going to run it right down your throat. And even if you get up on us, we're going to run it. Dude, that was straight up, like, in the trenches because mm-hmm. they were lining up <clears throat> for – they would bring the both tight ends in, and then they would yeah they would line up four and three yeah. So they were saying it's our guys against your guys straight up man up, and we we trust our guys and we like Derrick Henry and he's just gonna keep pounding and pounding. So that's what that's what I said. I think as far as our coach, so you can kind of say that man. They 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 I, pushed it because they would load up the box and that's when Tanner Hill what that. That's kind of where I do agree that I don't know if necessarily if they're sold on Tanner Hill because, mm-hmm. you know, he's I think he only had, was it, 13 for 15, right, Alex? Yeah, he, yeah. But he's a good game manager. Like, that's what a lot of teams are going with right now. Is just that's true. No, I, I agree. I agree. Because going back to Alex's statement, because they're all going to running games and mm-hmm. running games are making a difference. I mean, even even good quarterback, even like elite quarterbacks are learning to game manage because if a game dictates that in a situation, yeah. like, let's say, you know, you're playing the team with a great secondary and the, the mid to deep ball is not there. You're going to have to learn to, to, to keep a lead and manage a game, like close a game out, not just put more points on the board. So, I mean, it's becoming a thing that obviously the NFL is ever evolving. I totally um, see it because it also seems like defensive wise, everybody is picking up like hybrid linebackers mm-hmm. to cover, you know, the, the quick the, shifty. Yeah. The quick guys or the tight, the big tight ends, you know, cause now tight ends are kind of like slot, lined up in the slot. So it could be right. You know, just the way the, the evolution of the game goes. Mm-hmm. So uh, we'll move on to the Sunday games. Um, the first Smooth. one was the first Smooth one was fast. actually I thought the, I thought the first one was exciting. It went to overtime. Um, it was the uh, Minnesota Vikings against the uh, New Orleans Saints. By the way, who I thought the Saints would go to the NFC Championship game. It was uh, to me it was a, a, a upset, to say the least. It was an upset because now we have to have Kirk Cousins. <laughs> In the next round. And the Niners are just going to blow them out the fucking water, dude. Do you like that? No, I think it's shitty because we got robbed from a better game. I'm calling it. They're beating the Niners. Who? The Vikings are beating Ooh, the Niners. Ooh, hot take here? Why do you say that? Uh, I, I I don't think the Niners are for real. Really? Wow. I don't you know. Don't I, think think they're for, they I think they found out different ways to win. I can't take it away from them. And if anybody hates the Niners with the fucking passion is me. Because their fan base is just a bunch of hit. I won't say that because we might. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you don't like their fan base. You could just say that. Yeah, I don't like their fan base. You know, just they're not the brightest bulbs in the tanning bed. <laughs> but um, no, I'm buying. I'm buying. I'm buying the Niners. I'm buying the Niners too. Yeah. Straight up, like I think they're a good, really good team. The and I, like you gotta think about it. What does Minnesota have that is better than that? The Niners can't cover on defense. Yeah, on paper, nothing. They on, have the best defensive line. On paper, the, the on paper the Niners should win this game, but I'm going out on a limb and saying they're not. Oh, you feeling yourself because of the Titans, huh? No, I think it's. Oh. it's an, I don't think that this is their year. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't think they have a second year. I'm, I, I kind of think this is a one and done for the Niners. I don't think so. I think their defense is going to be better next year. Mm. Well, their coaches might leave. He's interviewing for head coaching jobs. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So what are you doing on paper or what? I'm doing – no, you can't look. I'm doing our game for later. Oh. <laughs> uh. You're all laughing in the game. <laughs> all right. And what about the, the second the, – the, the boring game, which was the Eagles – who came in? <laughs> who came into the? Uh, <laughs> when he left, so you're horrible. gonna find out. You guys uh, are gonna find uh, this the game Eagles. Who, the fun. Eagles who came into uh, the game with no receivers, basically against. Hey, the can we acknowledge? Seattle Seahawks. It's 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 already over for the, the Eagles. They're that's it. Oh yeah, their window. They're closed. gonna go in an eight year slump. Sorry, yep. Eagle fans. Their window has closed. Uh, Carson Wentz is uh, again got hurt. Yep. Knocked out of the game. They're really going to have to think about that one, man. He's never finished a season. No, they're really going to have to think about that one. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, this is just like a freak he's accident. Talented, like the dude man. landed on the back of his head. Yeah, but it's literally been... <clears throat> I, I agree with you, but it's it's been every season now. Then, yeah, it's, but it's not like he's... It's like uh, non-contact injuries. Like, they've all been from contact. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's unlucky. It's just re- like really... I felt really bad for him today just because... He had to sit there on the sideline when Nick Foles led the Eagles to the yeah. Super Bowl and won That's the whole thing. That's why you don't let Nick Foles walk out that door. Oh, my God. And then, you know, he just he's never finished a season healthy in his three years. He's never finished a season no, healthy. I think it, he's already on his – this was his fifth year. <laughs> Is it his fifth? Well, he's never finished a season healthy. So <laughs> that's why we don't Yeah, know. he got drafted in 2015. Okay. Right? Yeah. I have to believe you. At your word. Because then after that, I think it was. No, no, you're oh. right. No. Because that, no. Danny, you're right. It was it's his fourth year. Because. Danny Green always. 2015 runs. was Marcus Mariota and Jameis Winston. Got to stick up his butt. Oh. So oh. so it wasn't a good game. Uh, Carson Wentz got hurt. Um, DK Metcalf and Russell Wilson basically powered the Seahawks to a win. Ooh. DK Metcalf is dope, man. Yeah, he's, he's good. He's going to be nice. I really wish the Raiders would have picked his ass up. He is, he is swole, bro. He's big. He's a big yeah. guy. He's a big dude. That's a f- uh, dude, you know what I noticed going back to the uh, the Bills-Texans game? No. Josh Allen is as big as fucking J.J. Watt. What do you guys as think? Tall? Like just uh, size-wise. No way. Dude, no way. when they were flipping a coin for the overtime, they were the same size. There's no way. All right, man. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm blind. I'm blind, I guess. <laughs> it's your angle. It's your angle. <laughs> I have that crooked eye. <laughs> you just have one foot, one so, shoe on. So, what are your thoughts on the Seahawks? Nah, uh, no, no. Again, I just, <laughs> the Niners lose. I'm, I don't think the, the Seahawks can beat the Packers. And then the Packers cannot, not. Did beat the Seahawks them. beat the Niners this season? This season? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I was hoping that would have been the game, you know. That might be. We yeah. never know. I wasn't Could sold. Be. I'm just not. I'm not sold on the Seahawks. Nope. All right. So let's play a little bit of pick 'em here. Um, uh, Baltimore or Titans of Baltimore? Who do you Baltimore. guys got? Baltimore. Ti- Titans. <laughs> uh, so we got two for Titans, one for Baltimore. Well, that's because right. we, we, we should make a wager. That's because well, you're fan. Rico is Rico we is make a, we make Rico, a wager. Rico is not a Titan fan. I am, and you are a Baltimore fan. So yeah, exactly. So that cancels out. <laughs> so the one, uh, the one person who's who's neutral is picking the Titans because he he he, he, he sees he knows. I, see, I just see greatness, dude. I don't think this is the year for the Ravens, man. It happened to Cam Newton that one year, remember? And then Payne Manning, the same thing. Hey, Lamar has never won a playoff game. No. Ooh. His whole career. No, his whole career. <laughs> All in one year of it. Yeah. <laughs> he has it. In his extensive career. <laughs> he got he got took to town by uh, the, the Chargers, right? Yep. Come on, man. The, the fucking Chargers. That's what that's what that's what's gonna light his fire for this game, and he yeah. ain't letting it come down. Mm. No, we got Tannehill. He's a uh, Rivers two point bro. Banner Hill, the gunslinger. Can I, yeah. can I be honest? I have, no, you know what? I'm not even going to say my prediction. Fuck it. I'm going to move on. Okay, and then we got who? who's the other one? The Chiefs and the I'm gonna go Texans? With the Texans. I'm going to go Chiefs. with the Texans. Chiefs. I will go Chiefs mm-hmm. as well. So we got two for Chiefs, one for Texans. Damn. Far away parlay right here. Then we have, uh, <laughs> who is it? The, the Green Bay Packers and the Seahawks? Green Bay Packers. Yeah. I will take the Seahawks. Uh, in Lambo at Lambo though. Oh, at Lambo? Yes, you're right. You know what? Green Bay. I'm still taking the Seahawks. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
No, I, they I, did. The, the Packers finally lost at home. Beast season. mode is gonna go crazy. No, man, that's the thing. Like with Marshawn, like I just want the Seahawks to go far. I want and he actually he there there was a touchdown today. He made oh beast old, mode yeah, touchdown. Beast mode touchdown. <laughs> yep. He got hit square in the chest yeah. and he kept going. And he's like, I think he's my age. He's like thirty six, isn't he? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he's like thirty six. What he's, gonna, at, Alex? he's gonna take all his he he's gonna take all his lime in the sizzler. After. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever see that Yo, in the I video? Actually, yeah. I actually had sizzler on Friday night too. <laughs> You're the I sizzler. Think, I think I did. No, Thursday, right. night, Thursday so night. So who do you guys got in the other game, which is the Vikings and the Niners? Niners. Niners, man. That's Damn, we haven't we haven't been You're going unanimous? for the Vikings. Oh yeah, you said Vikings. You haven't been yeah. unanimous? Nope. You want the Vikings or you got the Vikings on? Huh? Yeah, I got the Vikings. Mm-hmm. It'd be good if the 49ers lost. Yeah, it'd, it'd be, make it more interesting. Mm-hmm, it would, but Kirk, it, it would be shitty if it's the Packers against Minnesota. It's region, very regional. Yeah, yep. so it'd have to. It'd be and fun then, if it's Seahawks and see, Minnesota. I don't yeah. think I don't think the Seahawks yeah. are good enough to get there. I think they're they're they have maybe one game left in them with the Magic, and that's it. It dies out. The Seahawks? No, the, dude, uh, we're gonna get Tanner the, Hill the, fucking the Vikings, cousins uh, at the Super Bowl like last year. Whacked. <laughs> Like last year when they won on the last play of the game against the Saints and like, they went out and got smoked. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got so that was, smoked. That was two years ago. Was it? Yeah. Because yeah. oh, last year the, the Saints lost to the Rams. In the, oh, that's right. Yeah. That's who, right. who was the year that? Yeah, the Saints lose. Oh, oh, so away. they lost on the last play of the mm-hmm. game the last three years. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah. funny. Well. Oh, they lost. That's right. The last play of the game today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seriously, Derrick Rose okay. needs it like. So, um, well, those are our picks. And, uh, yeah. So, a little bit more news. Uh, officially today, uh, Jason Garrett was told that he is no longer the coach of the Cowboys. It lasted a whole week, guys. Yo, and can I know. I we hate, said Monday. Yeah, we said I, yeah, Monday. Yeah. I hate the way they like played it. Yeah. It, like, they drug it out. Uh, is he qualified for unemployment? <laughs> <laughs> he does. And on top of that, instead of being like breaking news, he got fired. It was like breaking news, they parted ways. Yeah. Like, no, that? his ass got fired. No, no they, they, the Cowboys have informed Jason Garrett that he will not be returning <laughs> next year. Like, what is that? Yeah, we have to part ways. Well, actually, technically, they didn't fire him because he was... Uh, oh, his, his contract, contract is up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, so he doesn't get unemployment. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. He, Jerry Jones is going to bring him in. By the way, watch special advisor position. They, On top of that, they were interviewing, they interviewed Mar- Marvin Lewis. Why? Week. I guess Marvin Lu- Marvin Lewis isn't a terrible coach, yeah. but he should have been fired from the Bengals a long time before. You just gotta like, you know, you know why? Options. You know why they're interviewing Yes Man because they interviewed Mike McCarthy as well. They're mm. interviewing coaches that Jerry can control. Yeah, oh, sorry. And that's why they want what's his name from New England, Josh Daniels, McDaniel's. Oh, because or what's his name? Is that his name? Josh yeah, because he would. He's gonna just. He looks like a Yes Man. Well, he was under oh, Belichick, so he's yeah. definitely a Yes Man. I know. Oh yeah, he's he's trained. I just. I wonder where Kellen Moore is going to go now, though. That's interesting. I mean, we could have a whole uh, off-season NFL show. Yeah. Well, next week is MLS. MLS. Talked about that. MLS. So, uh, do you guys uh, going on to some XFL news? Okay. Did you guys hear that uh, Dean Blandino is the yeah. the XFL's head of officiating? I like Dean Blandino, man. He's the one. He's the one on Fox, right? Yup. He's the one that comes out. Every like every time that he's refs boxing. fuck up. <laughs> oh, that Dean Blandino. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many do you know? I I just like uh, I like that his, I his like when name the, rhymes. Dean Blandino. <laughs> he's he's just very bland for me. <laughs> and he's from the Womp Dino, Womp. the San Bernardino. He's from the Dino. <laughs> oh, Dean oh. Blandino from San Bernardino. I've, oh yeah. So, anyways, that's good. That's good that they have they've officially appointed someone and someone reputable, obviously, and um, just more evidence that the league is trying to be a legit league. You know. And, yeah. Um, this is a high caliber pickup, man. Mm-hmm. So I heard um, on the um, on the the uh, NFL. Sorry, on the NFL. Yeah, on, on one of the broadcasts. I think it was last night, the, the late game, uh-huh. uh, the, the the Patriot game. They were talking about the XFL and also on the NBA. Uh, one of the NBA uh, on the ESPN broadcast that they were talking about the Battle Hawks, mm. just the name. Like they were like talking about. So it's getting it's getting some press. I also today at the gym, there was a uh, uh, a piece on Channel Two on uh, the training camp mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. starting tomorrow or today. It started. Started today. In Houston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the yeah, I saw that. DC Defender pictures too. 
I don't like it. I don't like where the Wildcats are practicing. It looks like a high school. It it probably it probably is. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's I mean a, the field looks nice, but the the you know the bleachers and all they're kind of dusty. Damn, yeah. he's a dusty bro. <laughs> Go dust them off. <laughs> a little bit dusty, you know what I mean? My Wildcats need high uh, and there's, there's a, a high re- caliber uh, facility. There's a report that the Battlehawks offensive coordinator Doug Meacham could be leaving for a job at job at TCU, which he uh, he used to work at before. He might be taking the offensive coordinator position at TCU. Yeah. Oh, he's the offensive coordinator now. Yeah, for the for the Battlehawks. Why would you? Battlehawks. I don't know. Right. I don't. Know. That doesn't Especially make sense. Especially for TCU. Yeah. Like, ain't nothing coming out of TCU. No. Except for uh, what was that movie? RG three. A hundred. Uh, no, RG three is Baylor. Necessary roughness. Oh yeah. When they played TCU and they had that big white boy and the the. That's the one where that guy's old and he comes back as a quarterback because he still has eligibility. Yeah, eligibility uh, Scott there. Bakula. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, he, and he plays and he's like 40 years old, but he still has eligibility left because he blew out his knee or something. Yeah, and so the Sinbad. <laughs> oh, Sinbad. Yeah, Sinbad's in that movie as a lineman. Oh, and uh, Kathy Ireland's the, 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 the place kicker. Yeah. Yeah, yes, Kathy Ireland. <laughs> she's the, she plays soccer and they, she accidentally kicks it like over the fence. And she's super hot, and she's like, they, oh, she's like, Kathy Ireland was so hot. Oh my god! And she's like, boys, could you send that back? And they see her kicking it, and the the coach is like, maybe we should sign her up. She's still hot too, man. I saw her on a on her Instagram, I think. Oh, dude, she's she's hot right now, like today. Yeah. Like you gotta get mean, yeah. dude. She's so fine, dude. I mean, she looks like a Texas like housewife now, but she's oh, still fine. Mm. Damn. But a young Kathy Ireland though. Damn. Peace. Anyways, <laughs> um. So yeah, hey, actually, you know what? I, the Battlehawks uniform when they're practicing, obviously, it's not the the game jersey, but it looks it looks all right. Did you speak? the helmets don't look that bad? Like in, as oh, they okay. weren't practicing in them. Uh, did you see the that they might be putting? They're going to be putting out alternate logos. Yeah, I saw the really. Uh, I saw the 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 uh, what's it called? The um New York New York put one out already. The Guardians. What? Yeah, Let's look at that. The, the fucking Guardians. Oh, that, that looks dope. It does. And the, the Guardians, the Wildcats might be coming out with one too. Nah, Wildcats, keep it, keep it, keep it. They maybe. Ooh, that looks whack. It so does. Fun. That looks whack. But also, we talked about their gear every week. We've talked about how like whack their gear is. Yeah, I know. You know, it could needs to get better. Yo, uh, Freddie Prince Jr. wears a gear out. <laughs> <laughs> He's all over their Instagram, man. Who? <laughs> Freddie, Freddie Prince Jr. Uh, who's Instagram? Uh, the Wildcats. Why? He's a big fan of the Wildcats. He needs to calm down, bro. We don't need we don't need his bad juju. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up, man. Come on, you know you're a fan of she's all that. <laughs> Did I no that was a <laughs> that was the first DVD I ever bought. What? She's all that, yeah. I Yo, what, what was her name? She's Rachel uh Rachel Weiss? No. He, no, no, what's the name of the girl? Rachel uh Lee Lee Cook. Rachel Lee Cook. Dude, every I remember that that whole era that she was like the hit girl. Mm-hmm. She even came out in a new fun glory video. Oh, she did? <laughs> yeah. She had that big ass forehead of hers. What what video? <laughs> uh, Dress to kill. I want to say. Oh shit, she did. Yeah. It's funny. It's oh. Random facts by me. <laughs> that was the first DVD I ever bought. Nice. Yeah. Why does McGee look like he's fucking just, just <laughs> letting himself go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Logging out. Is that like the thing? Logging <laughs> out. <laughs> I, uh, I bought it at Blockbuster Video. I, Paul Walker. Oh my God. Paul Walker was in it. Anyways, anyways, yeah. Freddie Prince Jr. is like he's rocking the gear. I almost maybe want to rock the gear as well. All I have is a shirt, <laughs> <laughs> and the hat. The hat, the hat. Well, I wore the hat to the Rams game. So, oh, okay. Rachel Lee Cook, remember she was she was like a painter in that movie, and then she had like yeah. like glasses, and her hair is in the ponytail. Yeah. Oh, and then she's <laughs> ugly, right? Supposedly, yeah. and she takes yeah. off the glasses. Huh. She's fine. <laughs> Oh, oh wow. man! The whole time you're like, dude. Nineties teen movies. Are why, the can one, oh, why can no one? Why can no one see she's fine right now? Like you're like she's oh. she's fine. Everyone in high school is like forty. <laughs> <laughs> and Ball Walker looks like he's twenty seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, what's up with the Wildcats guys? They're right now in training camp. Um, actually, haven't heard much as far as like the quarterback battle. Yeah, they're still battling. Yep. So we'll see that. I mean, they're battling as a, we speak. A little bit of news about that. Though. Oh, there's a new shirt, uh, a primetime t shirt in the. Uh, Let me see. 
It's not, it's not that nice. You ever been cut off like that? That's fucked up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Gabe. Go ahead. <laughs> no, Gabe is feeling a type of way today. <laughs> no. I think he's scared. I, I think he's scared. He's, he's, he's nervous, man. Hey, we're, yeah, we're not going to. Oh, come on, man. I won't tell Derek Henry you said We've this never stuff. been a top seed, so it's, it is a little weird being a top seed. Like going in as the favorites. We've never been the favorites any year. Um, but anyways, I will not tell Derrick Henry you said those things about him. They put tell him, man. Tell him to come on the show. I'll tell him right to his face. I will laugh. He just whips your ass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being disrespectful. I'm telling him that I I, I expect my team to win. To tell to his face. I don't care if that's they, fair. No, that's fair. I don't that's care fair. who that's they were a, playing. That's a fair thing to say. Tell him to his face. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna run through you. <laughs> you. See that wall behind you? You ever see you ever seen the movie The Boys? Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah, first yeah, yeah. scene where the dude's girl gets run over, just blows up. That'd be gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still going to go for my Baltimore. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. Where's Gabe? <laughs> I'll be that decoration on the wall. Um, but they put out the, they're going to do XFL fantasy. Oh, right. Like fantasy oh, football. I'll but do that. But they need to be sh- small leagues because there's only eight quarterbacks. True. So they need to be like, so it's, like a, it's, like a, it's like a it's like a three man league. Yeah, <laughs> <Sixteen leagues>. just <laughs> us. <laughs> it's a three man. Just league. us. So they uh they put out the rankings for quarterbacks for all the positions. Basically, Did they really? Yeah. What? So uh, who's number one? Number one is Cardell Jones okay, of the that DC makes, Defenders. That makes sense. Number two is Josh Johnson of the LA bum, Wildcats. Bum, 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 bum. They said provided that Johnson. This is on uh, XFL News Hub, by the way. If people want to read it, go on xflnewshub.com. I'm here. Um, Josh Johnson of the Wildcats. It says provided that Johnson wins this battle with Luis Perez in training camp, the veteran Johnson is an ideal spot to excel in Norm Chow's offense. LA has one of the best trios of receivers in the entire league. Josh Johnson brings added fantasy value as a runner. So they're ranking them as far as uh, and because he threw that no look pass. Ooh, sold me, dude. Dang, I uh, know. And then uh, Landry Jones of the Renegades, okay, Matt McGlo- uh, McGlowan of the New York Raiders. Guardians, Philip Walker or Connor Cook of the Ref- Roughnecks, and then the rest doesn't matter. Um, running backs, we have. They don't have Perez on here. The Raiders. No, that's what that's what they're saying. Like he's not even a viable fantasy option. Oh wow! Wow! So, so he he might be number eight, like if he ends up starting. Wow! But it's for fantasy, remember? So the, you're taking a running quarterback. Oh, I see it. And then he would be obviously Perez is not a running quarterback, so he has no fun fantasy value from that perspective. Dude, if you look at it, like besides so, Carnell, Cardell, Lant, Josh. There's another guy. I want to say not Philip Walker. What's the guy from the Battlehawks? Over here. That is it. Uh, Jordan. T- T- I can't pronounce his last name. I think he's the one that's like a running quarterback as well, isn't he? Oh. Um, oh, both of them are. Look at both. I can't pronounce his name. Our mobile, Ta'amu. Our mobile quarterbacks. Ta'amu. Damn. This is going to be interesting because there's a lot of mobile quarterbacks. Or Tyler Heineke. Damn. And then the running backs were ranked uh, fifth with Elijah Wood. A. Ron Murray. Says Hood was LA's first running back selected in the skill draft. Norm Chow has a history of utilizing power style runners like Lindale White and others in the past. A good point. Shout out to my boy Lindale. Yo, Elijah, I, I was telling Alex one time, I'm excited to see Elijah Hood because he didn't do much with the Raiders. And then he, he kind of had a breakout uh, preseason game with the Jags, but he got injured. Mm hmm. So I'm like really interested to see you. Mm. And then wide receivers, we got the number one ranked wide receiver, Rashad bum, bum, Ross. Bum. He's tall. He's a big boy. AKA Rocket Ross. Rocket Ross is a deep, great deep threat. I, my favorite player already. Who is in a very good offensive scheme with good quarterbacks and teammates at the receiver position surrounding him. So defense. So basically, the him. Wildcats are going to win the championship. Rocket? That's crazy. Oh, he, the, yeah, Rash Markazi called it already. What? Arash, Arash has spoken. Arash had the 20 things are going to happen. And number 20 was the, for 2020, number 20 was the XFL champions will be the LA Wildcats. Damn. Damn. So, guys, the Wildcats are going to have a block party at the Dignity Health Sports yep. Complex Duh. Park. What whatever is, they call it? it. When? It is Saturday, January 25th mm. from 2 to 5 p.m. So, we're going to go with our uh, wild, Podcast? wild Talk shirts? Yes. We yeah, will. Wild talks. <laughs> <laughs> I will have them made by then. That'd be dope. I just need your sizes. XL. 
I'm gonna get you at large because so the ladies will see <laughs> <laughs> the muscles. Uh, the muscles the, tone behind that. Nice. <laughs> you get to look like the the Uruguay uh, jerseys from oh, the yeah, yeah, 2010 yeah. World Cup. The Pumas. Yeah. Puma made those jerseys tight for everyone. The Ivory Coast ones were the tightest. They yeah. were really oh, tight. Oh yeah, they're really yeah. They, you can see nipples clean. Everything. Like, Areolas, everything. They were like see through too, or what? Did you nah. see chest hair? Just like it was so tight <laughs> underneath. <laughs> yeah. It was so tight, really. They were no. super tight. I'll show you. Yeah, that's funny. Hey, I didn't know uh, Rashad Ross was that old. Rocket Ross? How yeah. old is he? Thirty one. Twenty nine. Oh, that's perfect. It's prime years. He's bro. a big boy, six feet, one eighty. Prime years. Prime. <laughs> prime. What year was that? Prime. 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 He played A. I don't. I don't know. He played for AAF. I'm. I'm excited for the Wildcats, man. I think they're gonna yeah, take it. They're gonna yeah. take it all. Wow, wow, cats. Well, one of you guys is gonna next week gonna be looking towards the Wildcats like I am <laughs> next week. <laughs> hey, uh, well, uh, another one can still enjoy. <laughs> damn, a, a Bill, <laughs> a, a Bill, Bill Polian didn't vote on uh, Lamar Jackson for uh, MVP, right, or whatever it was. He did. He did not. Look at there, look at how tight these jerseys are. They're not that tight. What? He has like no room. <laughs> but I mean, soccer guys are really skinny in general, don't they? Yeah. And I'm assuming most, like, except for Eden Hazard, since he moved to Real Madrid, he got fat. Mm, damn. Anyways, not talking about that. All right. When are we going to play my game? I'm going to play my game. Let's play your game. After we shout out, uh, did we, are we going to shout out uh, our social media again? People can jump in on our game next time. Yeah, yeah. Wildcats. Yeah, that's true. Wildcats. Wild uh, talk. XFL. <laughs> no, we're wild talk. LA. No, Man, underscore. Wild talk. Underscore underscore what are you doing on your yeah. phone? You're not even here right now. I'm on the wildcat. I'm on our thing anyway. I'm, I'm just, just, just being facetious. Yeah, people can follow us at wild talk underscore LA. Um, if you want to send us any messages, hit us up. Um, Bro, hit us up. Be funny. Yeah. If make you fun, need make any, fun of us. If you need any relationship advice, gay answers. Yep. Yeah. And he's re- and if you need any financial Shut advice up. as well. Don't even say <laughs> the funny thing is he was about to say he's rich. <laughs> <laughs> he's rich, bitch. <laughs> the funny thing he answers Bye, thank you. buy two Audis, answer yeah. for everything. Uh-huh. <laughs> He goes, I don't know. I just buy an Audi. <laughs> part, part, part one in the front, one in the back. I know. Mm. Oh, hey, break up advice by Gabe. I don't know, man. Just go ahead and buy an Audi. Just <laughs> <for> <laughs> you. Oh, that's how I broke up. I just bought an Audi. You and your girl have a. You and your girl are on the rocks. Have you? Do you? Do you guys have matching Mr. and Mrs. Audis? No, oh, that's what you need in your life, bro. <laughs> yeah, just oh, buy yeah. an Audi. You guys got divorced. <laughs> you know, you gotta celebrate uh-huh. your divorce just by buying her, an Audi. Just, just get her a house on an Audi. Should be cool. I like it. <laughs> Do I like this strategy. <laughs> hey, can you do they do they bundle that like it, like the cable? <laughs> <laughs> does, awesome. Re, does Remax have a have a Audi? Uh, <laughs> like a bundle package? Yeah. With, uh, <laughs> have kids, name them Audi. <laughs> have two of them. Lexus and Audi. <laughs> All right. So, so Gabe has a game. We're gonna play. I have a game. We're gonna play this game. Do we do we leave her clothes on? Uh, we'll see how good you're at the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we were talking about it last week after and we're like hey we should play a game on the show and we'll, we'll come up with different games but this one it's basically to help us get to know our wildcats a little bit better mm. and so I this like game um, is basically like uh, I don't have a title for it I guess we could call it like is he or ain't he but uh, okay. the game's gonna be I'm gonna tell you a name okay, and you have to tell me if that's a person on the wildcats roster if it's a person on the Mandalorian's cast, or if it's a name from the Key and Pill skit where they do all the football names. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know all those names. <laughs> but you guys uh, can't. Lo- you can't uh, use your laptop. Uh, no look, cheating. Look, no I'm, cheating. I'm shutting it down. I'm shutting okay. Down. So you get uh, no look, no cheating. I promise. Okay, you get one point. Okay. If you get it, uh, if you get it right that it's not, or that it is a Wildcats member. Or not that you get one point. You get a bonus, uh, a bonus point if you get where it's from. Okay. So if you get if it is a Wildcats player and you get it right, you get two points automatically. Okay. Okay. All right. Who's going first? So it's either the Mandalorian, Key and Peel, or a Wildcats player. All okay. Right. So we'll start off with Rico since he's to my right. Biz yes. Funyuns. Rico, first yeah. name on here. Steve Blum. No, definitely not. That is. I'm going to go with the Mandalorian. Okay. 
Alex? Uh, I'll say it's a wildcat. And the answer is, it is not a wildcat, and it is a Mandalorian. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. So Damn, keep track of your our, points. Where's our little horn? We don't have a horn. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> keep track of uh, your points. That's oh, two sh- points for Rico. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's like, oh, shit, I don't do math. Cool, man. Okay. Uh, two Let's points for do Rico. two I'll, points for Rico. I'll keep in track. On, uh, you got it? Yeah. All right. Two and then uh, zero. Alex, zero. Mm. Okay. This is great radio, by the way. I like how we figured this out before. We just need a pen. Bum, and, like, bum, I don't bum, have a pen. Oh, I do have a pen. I have pens. Hold on. Let me get a pen. I have a the laptop in front of me. Okay. Meanwhile, <laughs> we have all the, we have all we have is technology in front of us. <laughs> I don't Literally, like it. we have. I don't like it. <laughs> I could chicken scratch better on. on all our we have is technology. Agenda. Okay. Yeah, Spoken like a true dad. I love technology. Yeah. All right. But so not as much as I love you, we did that one. Next one. Here we go. Ready? Austin Flynn. Uh, Rico, you got it right. So you go first. Flynn. That sounds like a wildcat. Okay. Alex? I'm going to say that is a wildcat. And you both have two points. Bum, Good bum, job. Bum, bum. Rico, you're still winning by two. Yep. Okay, here we go. Rocket Ross, he said that is a Key and Peele sketch. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, Ibrahim Moises. Uh, Alex, don't go. Rico goes first. I'm going to go with the wildcat. Okay. He is part of the East West game from the Key and Peele sketch. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you are correct. You ever have Moises? Dude, I know every day about the, all those sketches. Oh, shit. My headphones <laughs> fell off because I laughed so hard. My, my, but that my, does, does kind of sound like a football player name, though. My, my favorite. <laughs> no, don't do it. It might be on here. No, my it favorite. It might be on here. My favorite was when the real players were on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they say yeah, the real like, name. It was like the Brick of Sean Ferguson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or uh, ha ha Clinton, ha ha Clinton Dicks. Dicks. <laughs> um, okay, back to reality here. Alex, you guys are tied, but you got the last one right, so you go first. All right, let's do this. Aiden Bertola. I want to say it's a cast member from The Mandalorian. Okay, I'm gonna go with The Mandalorian as well. Oh, you guys suck. You both got it right. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. A Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All right, give, us, give, us, give, us our, give us our points. I did. I did. I did. Okay. One, two, two. So six, six. Alex, you go first again. Steven Jackson Powers Jr. Steven, Steven, Steven Jackson Powers? That's not from the skit. I don't think it's from the skit. I'm going to say it's a wildcat. Okay. I'm going to go from the skit. I'm going to fucking throw it out there. I'm okay. all in. Okay. Alex, you get... No points. Boom. Not a wildcat. Damn. And uh, Rico, you get one point because you guessed it was not a wildcat, but it's from the Mandalorian cast yeah, member. Mm, okay. Yeah. So, anyways, Rico, you have the lead again. You go first. Yes, sir. You're ready. <laughs> oh, Kerr. <laughs> Sagittarius Jefferson. <laughs> Obviously, Kim Peele did. I can't even get through these <laughs> names without dying. Sagittarius, <laughs> Jefferson. <Smith. laughs> My favorite was Bismo Fun. Yes. <laughs> Don't uh, say it. It's called, it could be on the game. Okay, my bad. It's it's part of the P- Key and Peele sketch. All right, you're right. Sagittarius, Jefferson. Here we go. Two points for each. Seriously, somebody cut Dwight's hair. Fuck, that shit looks ugly. Rico. I love it, bro. You're okay. first. Here we go. Good. All right. I love it. Martez Carter. I'm going to go with the Wildcats. Okay. Um, I know that's Wildcat. Okay. Two points, both of you. Good job, guys. So far, you've nailed not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Latarius Brady. Rico, you're first. I'm going to go with Key and Peele. Okay. Alex? Damn the the the, <laughs> the first name sounds like the Key and Peele sketch. Yeah, but I thought it was something else. <laughs> <laughs> the last name. I, I'm gonna say it's a wildcat. And you are correct. Two Damn. points, Alex. Alex retakes the lead. He's up by one. Hey, fuck you, Alex. Tell me, show. All right, here we Eat go. My dust. <laughs> Dominic Pace. Baby Yoda. Alex, you're first. Dominic Pace, uh, Mandalorian. Okay. Damn, I'm going to go with a Wildcat. 
Good guess, but it is the Mandalorian. Damn. Alex takes a three-point lead. Shit. Here we go. Dominic Pace. Okay. <laughs> Dequan Hampton. <laughs> Dequan Hampton, he's a wildcat. Okay. Then you sound pretty convincing about that. <laughs> All right, fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna go with Key and P as well. Good guess, but it's a wildcat. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> we don't know our wildcats apparently. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Not you. I mean Rico. But I didn't want to burn him. But now I just did. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? Taiwan Jones. Oh, it's definitely a wildcat. Definitely that's a wildcat. Come on, man. Alex is supposed to answer first. I'm he, bad. Dude. No, I knew that though. Uh-huh. We talked about him. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we talked. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Taiwan. Oh, you're right. We did. Okay, here we go. Uh, Andrew Jones, the ba- baseball player. I'm gonna go with. Ma- oh, go ahead. I'm gonna go with the Mandalorian. Yeah, too. same here, Mandalorian. Both two points. Good job, guys. Okay. Roberto Rodriguez. I'm gonna go with the Mandalorian. <laughs> I'm going to go with Key and Peele. You might be a kicker that can be. <laughs> no, it's Mandalorian. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> There's an actual guy called Rodriguez on the Mandalorian? Yeah. Where is, where is he from? What planet is he from? I mean, <laughs> the Rodriguez. No, he's talking about the actor's names. It's cast and crew. Oh. Nah, what? it's cast. It's cast. Okay. <laughs> Rico Rodriguez. Bazeeker 12 washing beard. <laughs> Obviously, Key and Peele. <laughs> I just, try not I, to laugh when you say I these. I can't. I just yeah, love these names. Bro. Okay, Willie Mays. Willie Mays. Oh no, that's a that's a that's a, a wildcat. Dang, you sounded pretty confident. I gotta go with the wildcat too now. Damn, man, you you're not gonna catch up if you keep guessing the same thing. Well, you, you got it right though. You did get it right. <laughs> so if I would have said something different, I would have <laughs> been, been down by I would have been in the dust. All right, Ryan Cummings. Alex, I'm a, you're first. I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Wildcats. I'm gonna go with Mandalorian. It is, in fact, the Wildcats. Damn it! <laughs> Alex Jesus knows Christ. his Wildcats, man. <laughs> I do. He is on fire. Oh, don't worry. The last the last questions were twenty points. That's okay. So Rock and Jock. What is this Rock and Jock? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Brandon Barnes. Alex, you're up. I'm gonna go with the Mandalorian. Okay. I'll go with the Wildcats. It is a wildcat. Oh, Damn. caught up. Has Con- get- comeback season. Well, how, how he caught up? I like, got three in a row. I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> <clears throat> Gabe can't count. <laughs> He's all the way caught like up. Low key said that he caught up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Dan Smith. Alex, you're still up. Uh, Key and Peel. Okay. I'm going to go Mandalorian. It is Key and Peele. Damn it. <laughs> I told you I know all of the names. <laughs> Dan Smith, he's a kicker. He can rap too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, this is fun. I think I watched those kids like 100 times each. All right. Kieris Garrett. Alex, you're up. Kieris Garrett, he's a wildcat. Yeah, I was going to say wildcat too. <laughs> okay, you're both right. This isn't fun anymore, guys. <laughs> Our last one, then. Yeah, it, no. There's only one more, uh, one more wildcat left. Okay. How many? Uh, how many questions left? Three. Oh. Cool. Let's go. <clears throat> it could be any one of these three. Okay, go ahead. Clancy Brown. Alex. Oh, wildcat. Wildcat. Yeah. Okay. I'm going with wildcat. Mandalorian. Damn. Oh, no. <laughs> Why'd I listen to you, dude? I would have caught up. Damn. <laughs> you have to. There's only three left. Oh, shit. <clears throat> All right. Next one. Okay. Actually, let's keep it open ended. I don't know how many more I'm going to do because there's more. I, I forgot. There's more. All right. Um, okay. Johnny Stanton. Alex, you're up. Wildcat. Yeah, I was going to say Wildcat, too. Is that what you're saying, though? Two points for you, then. Before you make up your mind, <laughs> and fuck up. You almost made me doubt myself. Right now. <laughs> All right, uh, Terrell Alex. Alex, you're up. Terrell Alex? I think it'll be Wildcat. I'll go with Mandalorian. <laughs> it's a Wildcat. 
Damn. <laughs> You're so comfortable right now, man. I don't like it. I'm my element. I'm good at trivia. I'm good at like th- the things that need to remember. Chris ah. Nelson. Mandalorian. Yeah, Mandalorian. Why? Because the name sounds. Like yeah, that does not sound like a football player's name. It's okay. a, it's a two, two first name name. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Nelson doesn't sound like a, like a football player. You know what I mean? Donkey teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey teeth. <laughs> and he's gonna make it. Oh, he made it, dude! He got a hundred k. Shut the fuck up. Oh, the guy in the Lakers? Uh, yeah, what? He made a half-court shot, dude. A hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> shit. He's crying. <clears throat> oh, his friend was crying. <laughs> Not even him. Damn, that's crazy. He made this shot. He's telling the whole crowd, let's yeah. go. Oh, that was straight the whole way. Oh, no bank. No. Let's fucking go. Yeah, I bet lips. you the person that cut that check was like, nobody will ever make that shot. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, like J- Jackie Moon. <laughs> yeah. I know. That's right. <laughs> Cancel the game. <laughs> you gotta buy everyone in here, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Come on, game. All right, Trey Williams. I go with the Wildcat. I go with the Wildcat. You can't guess the same as him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta guess something else. Uh, how much am I by? Not enough. Okay. <laughs> no, I think you're beating my ass by a lot. All right, dude. He's a wildcat. <laughs> you're literally. How, how do you take? Is that five? Yeah. He's like up by five, dude. <laughs> Thirty-five. To 25. So this last question is worth 11 <laughs> points. All right, okay, cool. Let's go. Horatio Sands. <laughs> Too easy. I'm going to go Mandalorian. Yeah, Come it's on, man. obvious. I don't know what to say. We ran out of Wildcats. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Let's do this one. Let's do this right, one. Let's do one. I'm going to give you a Wildcats name. I'm telling you straight up. It's from the Wildcats. You tell me what position he plays. There we go. Okay. Or she plays. Okay. If you get it right, it's 11 points. Uh huh. Okay. Damien Mama. I'm going to go with defensive lineman. I'm going to go with uh, O line. He's an offensive guard. Damn. Way to go. Fuck you, Alex. <laughs> I Alex hate you right now. I'm going home. Fuck you guys, man. You run 46 to 25. <laughs> <I'm outta here. laughs> which is going to be the score of uh, the Chiefs game over the Texans. Jefferson Finn, Washington. Washington. Dude, I was dying. Jefferson so now you know why I was over here laughing. <laughs> Reading E E. <laughs> Yo, we gotta I'm, get into some LA news. The player formerly known as Danger Mouse. By Ozamataz Buckshank. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, Ozamataz Buckshank. Um, what was the one with the ter- pterodactyl game? <laughs> the uh, I I think I wrote it down in the game. Oh, Tyrisinus, no, Tyrisinus King. Yeah, that was my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Like right, Tyrannosaurus guys. King. So next week we're gonna do our MLS preview, and we're gonna have an uh, in-studio guest. Um, Tell me, Gabe is gonna be our guest. <laughs> I, thought no. Del, I thought Delmi was coming. <laughs> yes. Hey, can we talk about <laughs> gonna, Dos, can we talk about Dos Santos and, and his, those bitches? I mean, yeah. those girls. You heard? You saw that? What do you think, Gabe? I, dude, he's single. Let him do. Let him do his thing. He had more than two, by the way. Yeah, he did. Another one came over. Yeah, like five. I didn't know Mexico was getting ready for the World Cup. Huh? I didn't know Mexico was getting ready for the World Cup. <laughs> he's recruiting heavily. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's, I don't know. He's I like. A, he's if, a single man. Yeah. No, it's fine. I don't mind it. Young dark man. Young brown man. I, down I, in Mexico. I, Tulu, I, Mexico. One of those girls was bad. The, maybe, were like the, one, the one with, yeah, well, the one with the green yeah. bikini. Was, yeah, she had body. Yeah, body. And maybe he got a promotion, like buy one, four can stay. But <laughs> <laughs> the other ones were kind of basic. Damn. To be honest. Really? Damn. Is Gabe really putting shade up but there? But they must have some type of skill that we don't know. Damn. Mm. Topic? I mean, uh, nothing? Maybe they're just. 
Maybe they're good cooks, Tavi. Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. Maybe they got. What if they're really good at tic tac toe? You don't even know it. Maybe they got mad, ta- <laughs> mad Tavi. I mean, taco skills. Strip, strip tic tac toe. <laughs> yeah, they really got to connect four, dude. Come on. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna connect something. All right. I'm just saying, he's a millionaire. He lives in the South Bay. He lives in Southern California in the South Bay area. Like, yeah. Oh, he does live out here. Come on, bro. Does he live out here by Unida, man? Anywhere, Beach? anywhere in the LA area, like you better be taking some fine. Like, there's so many fine girls out here. You think they're American or Mexican? Two of them look like European. Maybe he brought them over when he moved over here from Europe. Like maybe oh. they met up. Ooh. Fly out. Damn. Fly out hoes. Ooh, okay. Hey, maybe hey, have we we gotta find these girls' names, look up their Instagram? Insta. Let's do it. I what, don't know. What, what, how girls much is, he, how much is he getting paid by the galaxy? Millions. Oh, millions. Millions. Oh, he's one of the higher play put. Yeah, oh, he's okay. a DP. Oh wow. Double penetration. <laughs> that was going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, man. not double, but what do you call it on the outside? <laughs> Oh, so this like arena view has the, even the Laker girl dance. Yeah. Oh. The Laker so girls. Delmi is come Delmi is coming next week. She's gonna do a LAFC preview and Gay will preview the LA Galaxy. Yes, yes, yes. LA Galaxy. And we'll talk a little bit about we didn't talk about the uh six millions. Clippers uh getting booed in their home court. Yeah, I know. They only care about oh, beating the Lakers. They got man. blown the fuck out. That's all they care about is beating the Lakers. That's I I feel I feel bad. Them. I feel bad for the Clippers because their fan base should not be booing them. No, they're. But again, man, that's what we talked about one time. This is this might just be the Kawhi way, and they just got to get used to it. It's my way or the Kawhi way. Yeah, hey, L.A. Kawhi's way, right? That's what they're. they're looking maybe they're, the Laker. I mean, the Clipper fans want you know what the Laker fans are going through right now. Mm-hmm. And it, it kind of sucks for the first place. It kind of sucks for the Clipper fans because they can't even enjoy this great season because the Laker fans are all shining. <laughs> right. Yeah. So the Lakers are actually yeah. good, and the Clippers are good at the same time for the first time ever. Yeah, and they just you know maybe they just want that same kind of limelight, but they ain't gonna get it. Nope. They're the Clippers, man. They, if they move to Seattle though, they'll blow up. Or San Diego. Or Vegas. If they move to Seattle, I'll go Vegas visit them. Vegas or Seattle, yeah. That'd be dope if they go to Las hey, Vegas. Hey, if they went to Seattle, I'll go, I'll go visit them like every two years. Someone's <laughs> going. Someone from the NBA is going to, the, to Vegas. Someone has to. You yeah. have to. Well, I sh- Clippers should go. For real. All right. So next week, Gabe is busy, so we can't invite him to whatever we do. That's true. <laughs> the weekend after. Unless I don't go to Catalina. Also, well, next week. So you coach uh, on the show. A Millican High School soccer team? Yeah, the girls. The you're, the head, you're the head coach? Nah. Is it the varsity or junior varsity? Varsity. Oh, oh you're not the head coach? No. Nah, offensive the coordinator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm the DP specialist. <laughs> <laughs> no, offensive uh offensive coordinator? No, nah, I'm more the I'm just the assistant coach and the goalies trainer for the whole program. What do we gotta do to get you to be the head coach? You gotta, you gotta write a letter I don't wanna to be the head coach. I don't wanna head be the coach. head coach. The head coach is my boy Tino, though. We grew up to playing together. He played oh, in MLS. Oh, I know Tino. Out to Tino de Gambino. <laughs> he played in MLS. Tino <laughs> Martinez? No. Oh. Nunez. Damn, I know Tino Martinez. I don't know who that is. He played, <laughs> played for the Seattle uh, Mariners. Wasn't that Tito? Oh, yeah. That was Tito. No, that was Tino. I thought it was Tito. No. Uh, you mean Tito Jackson? Sounds like a Brown King, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, they're Brown Kings. All right, yeah. Come on, LeBron. You don't know how to shoot a three or what? No, nah, it's Tito Martinez. Oh, okay. I was right. Did LeBron just come in? I feel he, like played he, for the, he played for the Mariners and the, and the Yankees. Oh, we played for the Yankees. Yeah. Every brown man's dream. American League. Yeah, he's gonna go in the Hall of Fame, bro. No, he's not. Yeah, that's awesome. He is. He Sorry should. He should. Is he Venezuelan? He's gonna be in the Brown Hall of Fame. Uh, he is. He was. He is. Uh, he's born in a uh, on the Devil Race. <laughs> we should get Brown. He's born in Tampa. We should get Brown King uh, Awards for the Brown Man of the Year. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Brown we should. King Awards. Let's do that. That's, that's coming up during the Oscar season. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's the, that's at the end of the month, right? Yep, or that's right. next month. Yep. So yeah. he's a he's a two time All Star, four time World Series champion. Nah, two time All Star, four time champion. Nah, he's not going. Silver out. Slugger Award. I think right nah. now Dos Santos is taking the brown. He also has award. two gold medals in baseball. Oh, Caruso with the N one, bald Mamba. Look at that. Oh, oh, locked and loaded with the headband. He's talking crap. Too, but that how many, how many times all star do you have to be to get in the hall? I would say if if you're not gonna be the main guy, you have to go to the I mean on your team, you have to go to the All Star game at least. I feel five like times, now I feel like nowadays times. people throw around Hall of Famer like it's nothing. Yeah, they do. And great every year and whenever there's like a, a decent receiver, oh he's Hall of Famer. Like, no, he's not. Yeah. 
Well, they said like Anthony Davis. Like on we the, know Derrick Henry's obviously going to be a Hall of Famer. <laughs> <laughs> Lamar <laughs> might be. <laughs> and he's in the he's in the uh, National College Basketball Baseball Hall of Fame. Ooh. Yeah, I don't doubt it. But in the in the bigs, he just. I don't know. A, Why a are you silver, on our own kind, bro? A silver slugger award is not hall worthy. Oh, look at Caruso. I got the penalty. Look at his pensive. <laughs> oh, that was against Fee Mikhailuk. He used to play for the Lakers. And he should be in the, on the hall. Oh, he's moving. That's uh, a block. Uh, that was That's a, a bad call. Hey, yeah. Dom Adley and Tina Martinez should be in the hall. Okay. The Brown Hall. I mean, I don't know about Dom Adley and the Brown Hall, but if you want to give him honorary... <laughs> I'll take it. He's pretty cool. Why does the Brown Hall sound disgusting? <laughs> <laughs> it's where all the Brown Kings live at. Dude, Drummond isn't even trying to play. Oh, there he goes. Oh! Boom. Look at all of them jumping. <laughs> they serenaded the goat right there with all of them jumping at the same time. Did he yeah. posterized Drummond? No, nah, he posterized nobody, but they all like came running after. That's a sick picture if they got it. All of them jumping while he's dunking. Oh, I got to see this replay. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. They all follow him. Kuzma, and then they there's Kuzma with assist, yep. And then they all jump. Look. <laughs> <Dwight. Yes. laughs> hey. Oh, LeBron was late. Kuzma just jumped or just turned around. Lakers, Lakers, Dude, are, having, just, Lakers just, are having fun, bro. Just that picture alone where it was LeBron, Kuz, Dwight, and, and yeah. And Caruso. And Caruso Ball, just Ball. yeah. Lakers that, are having fun, bro. How do you think these players feel? That's why they, the, that's why the Clippers got booed, man. <laughs> How do you feel these Lakers players feel playing with the best player ever? Dude, Montrez Harrell. Oh, with Caruso? Yeah. <laughs> What's that fool's name? Montrez uh, Harrell? Bowser from, from uh, Mario Brothers? Oh, yeah. He does not look like he would want to jump on the pitcher to have some fun. Like, that dude looks like the... Montrez Harrell? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's hey, serious. Do you think if World War Three happens, some of our Wildcats are going to be drafted? Hey, shout out to, <laughs> hey, hold on. Shout out to the World War Three memes. I know, right? You were the best thing I met this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Those memes were the best thing of 2020 so far. Hey, hey, low key, though, who's scared for World War Three right now? I'm not. I don't think it's going to happen. Damn. Damn. He's spoken. <laughs> I have spoken. Gabe has spoken. Hey, Iran said they're gonna stop their uh their that they're gonna start making uh <laughs> enriching uranium again. Okay. <laughs> you know yeah. what that means. <laughs> you know you know what that means, bro. At Wild Talk underscore LA. You know what that means. <laughs> that means more memes. <laughs> <laughs> and it, the world's gonna be ending, and we're gonna be we're gonna be just looking at memes. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna, like around us. Yeah. Uh, uh, these on the back, there's like explosions going on. <laughs> like, be like, me and my friends dying in the, at the end of the world. Like, Yo, it's memes. funny because we got memes on this side, and on the other side of the world, there's like a big ass parade for the guy that just died. <laughs> like they're mourning <laughs> and shit. Oh man, I feel bad now. But at Wild Talk underscore LA, if you have anything to reach reach out <laughs> are you okay <laughs> no i just thought i just got like my, we're on, my brain we, farted we are, on Insta- we, are, out. <laughs> we are on instagram and twitter at wild talk underscore la if you want to uh uh oh uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh turn me over the headphones yeah uh, uh wildcats <laughs> and no underscore la hit us up tell us how bad we are i'd like that <laughs> and if you want to email us instead, because uh, you know some people like and to send definitely emails. Definitely have the Titans win. Talk shit to Gabe. If you wanna, if you wanna send an email <laughs> to our manager, <laughs> I'd be so mad. If you wanna send an email to our manager, it's wildtalk.la at gmail dot com. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. No. Uh, I think next week's football games are gonna be really good. All right. Yes. Um, I'm gonna drink one of uh, Gabe's tears next weekend. Oof. Oh, they taste so good, the tears <laughs> of unfathomable sadness. <laughs> oh, keep crying. <laughs> Dude, I have, Dude, a, feeling, is I have good. a feeling like Gabe's going to be really petty. Oh, my God. I'm he's going to so be hot. so bitter. <laughs> and if he doesn't come next week, then we know he's really bitter. LeBron. But if, it, I, I if feel they like lose it, and he doesn't come, I know he's bitter. I feel like if they win, he's going to be bitter, too. And shit. He's going to come all fucking national. No, he's going to come in talking his shit, which is fine. It's fine. He's going to come in like Stephen A. Smith. No, come and talk smoking a cigar. Yeah. In come and talk your shit, but Alex will be petty. <laughs> I'm gonna fire Gabe next week on the air. <laughs> Fuck you, you know what you're fired, bro. Fuck you, Gabe. <laughs> you're like, what did I say? Oh, coos. We're gonna, we're gonna that hundred thousand dollar shot got him hyped. Because yeah. ever since he made that, they went on an eleven oh run. We're gonna play a game. Is it uh 
Is it petty or is it really hate? <laughs> 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 You're going to air out the grievances is it, <laughs> is it petty on the or podcast. Is it petty or putty? <laughs> <laughs> petty or paste? Well, on that note, uh, next week we will have our MLS preview. Delmi will be in studio. Um, He's what's, so excited. What's her, uh, what's her uh, um, social media? Delmi. How do you pronounce the last name? Barilla? Barillas. Barillas. Delmi Barillas. At Delmi Barillas. Delmi is D E L M Y. B A R I L L A S. Should be previewing LAFC for all you LAFC fans, and then for all you Galaxy fans, Gabe will give, be giving us a LA Galaxy preview. What do you think <laughs> of our new signings, Gabe? Uh, Save it for next week. <laughs> 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 I don't know what to say. <laughs> I like Ooh, he doesn't that seem happy good. at all. I like this one. Oh, oh, tell it like it is, Gabe. I like this soccer. I like to play the soccer. Is it good? <laughs> I like to kick it the ball. Into the neck. Is a is a guy trying to stop me, but I still make it. Make into the white rectangle. Kick it into the white rectangle. After Kick it into I, the box. After I make goal, I like to take off shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I like to take off my shirt and do my happy dance. <laughs> 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 oh, that no, guys. Uh, see you next week. Great.